Today, I'm serving you mental health and psychiatric nursing. I will be providing you a thorough discussion of your personality disorder. I promise I will break it down to you to the T. <laughs> if you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos every week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe now. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help and know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video, nurses. Hi, nurses. How are you guys doing? Wherever you are right now, I just wish you all the best. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, just in case I don't get to see you. Isang panibagong playlist na naman po ang alay ko sa inyo for today because we are going to have our very first lecture sa mental health and psychiatric nursing. Mm -hmm. We are going to discuss about your personality disorder mm -hmm. to the T. I will give you the description, the causes, categories, um, assessment and diagnostics, medical interventions, pharmacological treatment, and of course, your nursing interventions. All of that and more in one video. Now, before we further proceed with the video, I would just like to personally thank Sir Jmar Rogado. Yes, kasi po inimbitahan niya po ako na mag-guest uh, lecturer or guest speaker sa kanya pong um, discussion sa mga estudyante niya. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po Sir Jmar for trusting me. At kung nandito ka sa video na to, malamang sa alamang ay kasama ka doon sa mga estudyante na turuan ko about sa personality disorder. Sila po ay galing sa Laguna State Polytechnic University College of Nursing. Shout out sa inyong lahat dyan! <laughs> At ginawa ko tong video na to kasi gusto ko na kung sakaling may na-miss ka dun sa live discussion natin, gusto mong balik-balikan, gusto mong i-refresh, eto ang video para sa iyo, okay? And of course, sa lahat ng mga naghahanda, nagre-review, naghahanap ng lecture material sa iyong psychiatric nursing, mm -hmm, this is the video for you. Hindi ko na patatagalin pa kasi medyo lengthy ito. In order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng Young Personality Disorders Nursing Care Management. This is our very first entry sa ating mental health and psychiatric nursing. Yes, mga nurses, I'm so glad to inform you that we have another playlist on our channel. Um, at ito ay tatawagin natin mental health and psychiatric nursing. Isa sa mga studies sa nursing, isa sa mga fields sa nursing na alam kong uh, marami ang medyo confused at kailangan ng uh, marami ang paborito. Alam mo yun, paborito nila yung psychiatric. Kasi ako personally, paborito ko yung psychiatric nursing. Let me start with this discussion by giving you an overview on what is personality disorders. Now, maaaring nagtatanong ka, bakit meron ka pang ganitong lecture eh, nag-discuss ka na? Yes, kasi gusto ko siyang ilagay dito para meron kang reference, may babalik-balikan ka. Huwag ka mag-alala kasi kung ano yung diniscuss ko doon ng live, ito rin yun. Okay. Now, personality disorder is an enduring pattern of inner experience and behavior that deviates markedly from the expectations of the individual's culture, is per se, uh, pervasive and inflexible. Now, this has an onset in adolescence or early adulthood and stable over time and leads to distress or impairment. All right. Now, this one, this definition of personality disorders were, was actually um, diagnosed, but uh, it was actually actually done or made by diagnostic the diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders nakalagay ito sa definition nila ng 5th edition which was published and updated in 2013. Aha. Uh -huh. Yung kung hindi mo na tatanong, yung DSM-5 author of this book is the American Psychiatric Association. All right? So proceed na tayo. That's just a brief overview. Ano-ano ba yung mga dapat mong asahan sa video discussion natin for today? Well, I'm going to give you the descriptions, categories, clinical manifestations, assessment and diagnostic findings, medical management, and nursing management. All right, let's begin. 
So descriptions, nurses, i-describe lang natin to medically. Ha- well, mm-hmm. personality can be defined as ingrained, enduring pattern of behaving and relating to self, others, and environment. Personality includes perception, attitudes, and emotions. Personality disorders are diagnosed when personal, uh, personality traits become inflexible and maladaptive. Uh, adaptive and uh, significantly interfere with how a person functions in society or cause the person emotional distress. They usually are not diagnosed until adulthood. Yes, ang onset, yung personality disorder, hindi may masyado mapapansin kapag bagets-bagets pa. Adulthood po, maturity. It comes along with maturity. Now, when personality is more completely formed, di ba sa adulthood nga, adulting, yun yung term nila. Now, no, no specific medication nurses alters personality. And therapy designed to help clients make changes Um, is often long-term with very slow progress. Tandaan mo na base sa pag-aaral, magpasa hanggang ngayon, wala nga naman talagang gamot na magbabago ng personality because it comes from the root, it comes from the values, it comes from the core, the upbringing of the person. Malaking factor din yung environment. Pwede rin yung genetics or something like that. Pero, alam mo yun, namamana yung init ng ulo. Namamana ba yun? Pero parang hindi naman. ba diba? And I want you to understand that when you're treating personality disorders, um, it is a long-term therapy, long-term um, gamutan, long-term therapy sessions, and very slow in progress. Though it's very slow in progress, um, mapapansin mo na as you go along with the therapy, mapapansin mo na namamanage. Kasi when you talk about personality, this is something very, ano mo yun, yung malapit sa pagkatao mo eh. This is you. Proceed na tayo. What are the categories of your personality disorders? Diniscuss ko rin to ng live doon sa mga estudyante natin dyan sa Laguna State Polytechnic University. Okay, so balikan lang ulit natin. O kung hindi ka naka-attend ng live discussion natin, o ito, papaliwanag ko sa'yo. Naalala mo yung diniscuss natin DSM-5. Sila yung mayroong uh, author ng mga diagnostic. Uh, diagnosis ng personality disorders. Now, they list personality disorders as a separate and distinct category from other major mental illness. They are on access to of the multi-actual classification system. I-discuss natin to tatlo lang naman ang categories ng yung personality disorders. And there are subcategories. Huwag ka mag-alala, padadaliin ko to sa'yo. Now, Cluster A. Cluster A includes people whose behavior appears odd or eccentric and includes paranoid, schizotypal, and schizoid, uh, schizoid personality disorders. Mamaya, mas tatalakayin natin sila in depth, okay? I'll make sure na sa end ng discussion na to malino sa'yo yan. Cluster B. Now, this includes people who appear what? Dramatic, emotional, and erratic. It includes antisocial, borderline, histrionic, narcissistic, personality disorders. Alright? Ano yung term? Pag cluster B, dramatic. Kapag cluster A, odd, eccentric, weirdo. Ganun. Ano naman yung Cluster C? Cluster C includes people who appear anxious or fearful and includes avoidant, dependent, and obsessive-compulsive personality disorder. We will discuss each of them in details. Don't worry. Alright? But that's just an overview. Tandaan mo yung mga key terms. Pag Cluster C, ano sila? Obsessive-compulsive. Sila yung mga anxious, fearful. Anxious, yung... yung alam mo yun, yung parang... Hindi naman type A personality, pero anxious. Um... Fear of unknown, fearful, mabil, ma, ma, sobrang takot. Alam mo yung ganon? So, yun sila. Cluster A, Cluster B, Cluster C. Tatlo lang ang categories ng yung personality disorder. I-discuss na natin sila isa-isa. So, Cluster A, personality disorders. Eto. I really try to be visual here just for you to have, um, to, to accommodate those ver- uh, visual learners. Pero ito na siya, ha? Okay, simulan natin sa cluster A. Na ano-ano ba yung mga meron dito sa cluster A? Di ba sinabi natin may mga subgroups? Okay, ito. Huwag malilito ha. Sa cluster A, tatalakay natin tatlo. Tatlong subgroups ng cluster A. Una na dyan, ang yung paranoid personality disorder. Ito o. Oh. 
I would not put this here kung wala tong silbe. Paranoid personality disorder. These visuals can help you get fact. These are the signs and symptoms, some of the signs and symptoms that you can notice sa may paranoid personality disorder. I-discuss natin to, ano ang paranoid disorder mo or personality disorder. This personality is characterized by pervasive mistrust mistrust that's the term and suspiciousness of others clients with this disorder interpret others actions as potentially harmful paranoid ano yan mistrust meron silang issue ng trusting other people next schizoid personality disorder this is characterized by a per a pervasive pattern of detachment from social relationships and restricted range of emotional expression in interpersonal settings. Pag sinabi mong per uh, pervasive, ano ibig sabihin no nurses? Extensive. Diba? Sinabi na extensive, malala. OA, parang ganon. Extensive. Ano pa yung isang klase ng um, uh, uh, subcategories ng cluster A? personality disorder, schizotypal personality disorder. What is this? This disorder is characterized by a pervasive pattern of social and interpersonal deficits marked by acute discomfort with and reduced capacity for close relationships as well as by cognitive or perceptual distortions and behavioral eccentricities. Alright? Huwag malilito, nasa cluster A pa lang tayo. Pag sinabi mong cluster A, tatlo yan. Paranoid, schizoid, and schizotypal. Ito po, tandaan mo yan, pag schizotypal, although i-discuss natin siya sa mga latter part and details, mas gagawin ko siyang pinadali. Binigyan lang kita ng overview. Pag schizotypal, tatandaan mo tong mnemonics na to. Flat Earth. Ayan o, oh, bawat isa niyan may kahulugan. I want you to take a look at it, okay? But I will give you a um, easier way for you to understand and to memorize the the uh, clinical manifestations. The schizoid personality disorder, tandaan mo yung mnemonics na sir say. Okay, na mag-proceed na tayo. Cluster B personality disorders. Tapos na tayo sa cluster A, cluster B na. Iti-discuss natin sila, apat po ito. Um, umpisahan natin ang antisocial personality disorder. So, how are you gonna define this? When you say a person is diagnosed with antisocial disorder, this is characterized by a pervasive pattern. Pag sinabi mong per pervasive, again, extensive, OA, malala, ganun ang kanyang synonymous term of ano siya, pervasive pattern of disregard for and violation of the rights of others and with the central characteristics of deceit and manipulation. manipulation. Anong gusto ko tandaan mo term? Manipulation. Sila yung may mga problema sa rules and regulation. Again, ito siya, oh, antisocial personality. Anong mnemonics mo? Callousman. Basahin mo yan, may mga meaning yan dyan. Okay? Next, borderline personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by a pervasive pattern of unstable interpersonal relationships, self-image, and affect, as well as marked impulsivity. Borderline personality disorder is the most common personality disorder found in clinical settings. Uh, common. Pag sinabi mong borderline, Ano siya? Unstable interpersonal relationship. That's the term. May problema sila sa self-image, medyo mababa ang self-esteem na mga ito, at impulsive din sila, borderline. Sila rin yung may mga uh, suicidal tendencies. Borderline personality disorder, I want you to remember the mnemonics, I raised a pain. Take a look at this, make a screenshot. But like I said, I will give you a thorough discussion later on. Next, we have your histrionic personality disorder. Any ideas about this, nurses? Histrionic. When you talk about histrionic, this is characterized by a pervasive pattern of excessive emotionality and attention-seeking. A term, attention-seeking, emotional, MMK, ganon. Clients usually seek treatment for depression, unexplained physical problems, and difficulties in relationships. Ano mo papansin mo sabi? Lahat sila may problema sa emotions. Next, we have your narcissistic personality disorder. May mga kakilala ba kayong ganito? nurses. Ako marami. Nangigigil ako. Chare! Okay. Now, this is characterized by a pervasive 
mind you guys, pervasive meaning extensive, malalang pag ano GGSS, pagiging GGSS, okay? Now, pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior. Alam mo yung grandiose, delusion of grandeur, need uh, for admiration and lack of empathy. One of the uh, one of the characteristics of narcissistic people or narcissistic personality disorder is that they feel so <laughs> They feel like they are the the like oh girl I am this I am this and that I can do this and that and they don't have empathy towards other people. Again, wag malilito ha nandito pa rin ta itong apat na to anti-social borderline histrionic narcissistic personality disorder. These are all under your what cluster B. Perfect. Proceed na tayo. Cluster C. Personality disorders. Tatalakay natin ano yung mga subclusters ng iyong cluster C. Okay. So, meron tayong tatlo. Okay? Una, ang avoidant personality disorder. Now, this disorder is characterized by a pervasive pattern of social discomfort and uh, reticence, low self-esteem, and hypersensitivity to negative evaluation. Alright? Tandaan mo, lagi ko sinasabi yung pervasive, extensive, ha? Hindi naman, ibig sabihin malala, hindi siya yung pag nakita mong, alam mo yun, may, may gumbawa sa sana narcissistic. Normal lang na magkaroon ka ng confidence sa katawan kasi ka, ano yun eh that's the normal thing pero pag sobrang lala pervasive extensive alam mo yung todo todo the highest level na ah baka naman may personality disorder again mga nurses iwasan ang pagda-diagnose <laughs> Kasi sakit natin yan. Aminin nyo yan. Bigyan kita ng mnemonics about sa avoidant personality disorder. Tandaan mo lang to. Ridicule. Restrained within relationships. Inhibited in interpersonal situations. Disapproval expected at work. Inadequate view of self. Criticism is expected in social situations. Unwilling to get involved. Longs for attachment to others. Embarrassment is the feared emotion. Alright? That's your simple mnemonics. Let's proceed. Dependent personality disorder. Talk about dependent personality. This is characterized by a pervasive and excessive need to be taken care of which leads to submissive key term submissive and hindi 50 shades of gray ha huh? submissive and clinging behavior and fears of separation these behaviors are designed to elicit caretaking from others key term dependent they need other people para mas maunawaan mo bigyan kita ng mnemonics tandaan mo to darn hurt ano ibig sabihin yan disagreement is difficult to express advice needs excessive input responsibility for major areas de- a delegate to others. Nurturance seeks excessive. Tandaan may mga excessive words of extreme. Excessive what? Degree from others. Ano pa? H. Helplessness when alone. Unrealistically preoccupied with being left to care to self. Relationships are de- uh, desperately sought. That has difficulty initiating projects. All right, so let's proceed. Obsessive compulsive personality disorder. This disorder is characterized by pervasive pattern of preoccupation with perfectionisms, mental and interpersonal control, and orderliness. Orderliness, perfectionism. Does it ring a bell? Yes. At the expense of flexibility, openness, and efficiency. OC, ok, ok, obsessive, mga hugas ng hugas ng kamay dyan. Hindi mapakali kapag naiba yung order ng pencil case nila. Kapag naman yung cellphone nila ay nakalagay sa left, tapos bigla mong pinakailaman, nilipat mo sa right, yan. Lalabas ang pagka ok ng mga yan, girl. Stress oh, no. sa kanila yun. <laughs> okay, so once again, wag malilito. Ano tong tatlo na to? Avoidant, dependent, obsessive, that's under your cluster. C. Ito siya, o oh, para maalala mo yung obsessive compulsive personality, I will give you a mnemonics. Low mirth. Each letter has a meaning. Tandaan mo, kung... kung in speaking of mnemonics, may paso ko lang. Meron akong playlist dito sa channel ko where I give you nursing mnemonics. I-check out mo yon in nursing tips. Ha? Makakatulong yun sa pag-aaral mo. Leisure activity is minimal. O, organization focus. Work and productivity uh, predominate. M, miserly spending habits. I, inflexible around morals, values, etc. R, rigidity and sub 
stubbornness, task completion impaired by perfectionism. Ano pa? Hoards items, cannot discard them. Yes, that's your uh, mnemonics for the uh, um, signs and symptoms or characteristics of OC. All right, let's proceed. Malino to ha. Wag ka magalala, bibigyan kita ng mas malino na discussion about clinical manifestations. Eto na tayo. The way we will do this, you guys, is by cluster following with a personality disorder. In this way, it will be easier for you to identify specific clinical manifestation of each personality disorder under each clusters. Three clusters, all right? So handa ka na, eto na. Sinabi natin, meron tayong tatlo, di ba? Una dyan, ang cluster A. Sa cluster A, ano ang una natin? Paranoid. Paranoid personality disorder. Anong ano nila? Ano makikita mo sa kanila? Mistrust. Meron silang trust issues. And suspicious of others. Has guarded, restricted affect. Kasi nga meron silang trust issues. So hindi mo mapapan, hindi mo ma-expect ang mga yan na mag-open up sa'yo. Hindi yan, girl. Kasi feeling nila laging merong, merong sinasabi sa kanila yung ibang tao. Next na tayo. Schizoid. Ano to? Pervasive, detached from social relationships. These are the clinical manifestation. Has restricted affect involved with things more than people. Materialistic. Alright. Ano pa? Schizotypal. Now, acute discomfort in relationships. Cognitive or perceptual distortions. Eccentric behavior. Okay? Once again, these are the three types or three Clusters or subclusters of your cluster A: paranoid, schizoid, schizotypal, along with their what clinical manifestations. Gets mo yon? Gets mo na? I'll proceed na tayo. Cluster B. Sa cluster B, ano yung dinescas natin kanina? Ilang klase yon? Apat. So isa isa natin antisocial. Ito yung manifestations niya. Disregard for rights of others, rules and laws. Sila yung may mga problema guys sa sa ano? Rules and regulations sa laws. Ayaw ni na mga antisocial na mga ganyan girl. Alam mo yun, pasintabi po ah, pero just for the sake of example, yung mga ex-con, yun sila. Sila yung mga kadalasang, isa sa mga, uh, mga, mga kadalasang nadadiagnose with antisocial personality, okay? Oh, kamagalit dyan, gigigil ako. So, hindi naman lahat, pero kadalasan, Okay. Ko naman nila lahat, girl, kalma. Next, ano pa yung diniscuss natin kanila, bo, ah, kanina borderline? Ayan, no? Unstable relationship, self-image, and affect. Impulsivity and self-mutilation. Ano yung self-mutilation? Sinasakta nila yung sarili nila. Oh, no. Alam mo, it's either maglalasla sila, may mga attempt ng pagpapa, tiwakal. Gigigil ako, girl. Kaya, ilayo ang lubid sa mga borderline personality ng tao. Mm. Next, histrionic. Everyone pay attention to me. Excessive emotionality and attention seeking. Attention seeker. Sobra ha. Hindi porket attention seeker ka. Um, histrionic na girl. Hindi. Kailangan excessive, pervasive. That's the term. Malala. Next. Narcissistic. Si ako. Ako ang magaling. Ako na lahat. Ay, di ikaw na. Ito siya. Ano yung clinical manifestation niya? Grandiose. Lack of empathy. Need for admiration. Ikaw na! Ganyan ang mga narcissistic girl. Oh, sa kanila. Ako na! Ganyan. Okay, once again, these are your subclusters of your cluster B along with their what? Clinical manifestation. Screenshot mo na, baby. Next. You have your cluster C. Sa cluster C, diniscuss natin tatlo, di ba? O, isa-isahan natin. Balikan natin ulit. Avoidant personality disorder. Avoidant. From the root word, avoid. Ano to? Ano yung mga manifestations nila? Social inhibitions, feelings of inadequacy. Kahit nila, kahit anong gawin nila, hindi nila, I mean, alam mo yung feeling nila na, Anong sila? Hindi sila sapat. Char. Hypersensitive. Masyadong ano to. Mga, yung, alam mo yung mga kanti. Balat sibuyas. Ika nga sa Tagalog. So, negative evaluation. Ano nila yan? Greatest fear. Greatest, um, parang pet peeve nila yan. Ika nga. Next. Dependent. 
submissive. O, tandaan mo lang si itong batang ito. <laughs> Hindi ko kayang mawala ka. Submissive and clinging behavior. Excessive need to be taken care of. From the root word, dependent. I cannot stand alone. I need you. Ganon ang motto nila sa buhay. Next, obsessive, compulsive, disorder. Mga ok. OOC. Ano to? Anong clinical manifestations nila? Preoccupation with orderliness. Order. Hindi sila magpa-function girl kapag hindi yan in chronological order. <laughs> Ikakastress nila yan girl. Pag nilagay nila ang taas sa right, kailangan pagbalik nila kinabukasan after 3 days, nasa right pa rin siya. Kasi nga, ok, ok. Ano pa sila? Perfectionist. Excessive ha? Perfectionism. And control. Mga control freak excessive um um uh, what's this eagerness to control everything around uh, around them that's your oc again sa cluster c tatlo you have your avoidant dependent and obsessive compulsive along with their what your clinical manifestations proceed na tayo ha now we're going to talk about assessment and diagnostic findings tanong paano nga ba ito dinadiagnose nurses now, the following tests can be used in diagnosis of personality disorder. Unahin na natin, una, toxicology screen. Madaling sabi, oh, nasyak ka, wag ka mag, mag ka maano dyan. Pag sinabi mong toxicology screen, madali lang yan. Ibig sabihin lang nun, girl, pinahirap lang. Drug test. Okay? Now, substance abuse is common in many personality disorders, and intoxication can lead patients to present with some features of personality disorders. Kalma, drug testing. Next, screening for HIV and other sexually transmitted disease. Oh, paano napasok ang HIV dito? Oh, no! Kalma, di discuss ko sa'yo. Now, patients with personality disorders often exhibit impulse control and may act without regard to risks. Such behavior can lead to infection with a sexual transmit, uh, sexually transmitted disease. Next, CT scanning or CT scan, computed tomography scanning with appropriate blood work can be carried out if organic etiology is suspected. Organic etiology meaning identifying the root cause of your personality disorder. Next, radiography. Now, this can be indicated for injuries from fighting, motor vehicle accidents, or self-mutilization. Okay? Now, now of course, dito sa diagnostic findings natin, this is actually, pandaan mo na napakahirap nga po i-diagnose. Wala kang gamot, di ba? Wala proven studies to change someone's behavior and personality. Now, these clinical diagnosis or diagnostic tools are being, what, linked to your clinical manifestations. Yung mga assessment findings mo and signs and symptoms mo. At kapag nagtugma sila, nagswak silang dalawa, then the doctors and the medical team can actually rule out the patient's type of personality disorder. Okay? Now, proceed na tayo. Sabi mo, wala naman talaga Walang treatment, walang gamot, walang ano, walang, tag dito, walang uh, accurate. Pero bakit may medical management? Nurses, caregivers should be vigilant about suicidal potential and should document their assessments in the medical record at each visit. Tandaan mo na bawat personality disorder may peak yan. Kapag na-reach nila yung amount of level na stress nila, yung mga triggering factor nila at hindi yun na control girl, pwedeng dumating sa punto na they can hurt themselves. Alam mo yun? So, kaya papasok yung medical management to avoid suicidal um, tendencies or suicidal events. Alam mo yun? Oh, proceed na tayo. Paano mo siya gagawin? Una, psychotherapy. Actually, tatlo lang naman talaga eh. Una na dito yung psychotherapy. Now, um, psychotherapy is at the core of care for personality disorders. Ito yung face-to-face -face counseling with a specialist, mga psychiatrist natin. Now, because personality disorders produce symptoms as a result of poor or limited coping skills, psychotherapy aims to improve perceptions of 
and it responses to social and environmental stressors. Next, inpatient care. Yes, pwede po silang ma-admit because the underlying disorder remains basically unchanged by the by inpatient interventions. Length of stay should be minimized to avoid dependency and subverts recovery from the circumstances prompting the hospitalization. Lastly, you can do transfers. Some patients hospitalized in a psychiatric units of general hospitals where stays are generally shorter than two weeks. May now, this may require transfer to psychiatric hospitals that can provide long-term care. All right? Pag hindi na kaya sa mga inpatient stay sa hospital, kasi di ba sa mga hospital meron silang psychiatric ward, general ward. Pag hindi na kaya, malalang malala na talaga, then you can decide for referral to a long-term care facility which actually caters psychiatric um, needs for patients, okay? Once again, these are your three medical management. Let's proceed to pharmacologic three, uh, treatment or management. Now, nurses, I want you to understand that medications are in no way curative for any personality disorder. They should be viewed as an adjunct Lang ha, not main medication but adjunct therapy, supportive therapy to psychotherapy so that patient may be productively engaged in psychotherapy. Ang pinaka-core kasi again is psychotherapy in treating your personality disorders. Ano-ano ba yung mga adjunct therapy na pwede, bini, pwede nating i-administer sa pasyente? Una, ang antidepressants. The selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Ano to? SSRIs. A newer antidepressants are safe and reasonable effective. However, because the depression of most patients with personality disorders stems from their limited range of coping capacities, antidepressants are usually less effective than in patients with uncomplicated major depression. Okay, next, anticonvulsants. These agents are useful for stabilizing the effect extremes in patients with bipolar disorder, but they are less effective in doing so in patients with personality disorders. They have some demonstrated efficacy in suppressing impulsive and particularly aggressive behavior in patients with personality disorders. Next, you have your antipsychotics. Response to antipsychotics in patients with a personality disorder is less dramatic than it is in true psychotic axis 1 disorders, but symptoms such as an anxiety, hostility, and sensitivity to rejection may be reduced. Once again, these are your pharmac uh, pharmacological treatment or management for patients diagnosed with any one of those types of personality disorders, okay? Next, oh, ito na yung pinunta mo dito, nursing management. Sa mga susunod na slides, i-discuss ko sa iyo ano ba ang mga nursing assessment mo at ano-ano ba yung mga dapat mong gawin as a nurse. Next, okay, nursing assessment. First of all, history taking tayo. Many of these clients report disturbed early relationships with their parents that often begin at 18 to 30 months of age. 50% of these clients have experienced childhood sexual abuse. Others have experienced physical and verbal abuse or parental alcoholism. History taking po napaka importante yun because that could be a basis of the doctors and all the medical team para malaman mo ano bang pinagmulan. Baka naman kasi may history. Diba? Baka naman, tandaan mo, nakaramihan sa mga nagde-develop ng personality disorders, it, between, ang age niyan is between 18 to 30 years old, 50% of them are actually sexually abused. Nakakalungkot, hindi ba? Kakalungkot. Next, mood and affect. This is another part of your nursing assessment. The pervasive mood is dysphoric, involving unhappiness, restlessness, and malay. Clients often report intense loneliness, boredom, frustration, and feeling empty. You know, matter what they do, they're not enough. 
sad. Okay. Now I'm just trying to. I'm joking around. Huh? Don't get me wrong. I just to make this discussion lively. I'm trying. Next, thought process and content. Thinking about self and others is often polarized and extreme, which is sometimes referred to as splitting. Clients tend to adore and idealize other people even after a brief acquaintance, but then quickly devalue them if these others do not meet their expectations in some ways. Ganoin. Next, sensorium and intellectual process. Na anong lalagay mo dito, nurses? Intellectual capacities are intact and clients are fully oriented to reality. Okay, ano naman ang mga nursing interventions? Mauna na dyan, nurses, promoting clients' safety. Very topmost priority. Okay, the nurse must always seriously consider suicide ideation with the presence of a plan, access to means of enacting the plan, and self-harm behaviors and institute appropriate interventions. Next, promoting therapeutic relationships. Regardless of the clinical setting, the nurse must provide structure and limit setting in the therapeutic relationship. In a clinic setting, this may mean seeing the client for scheduled appointments of a predetermined length rather than whenever the client appears and demands the nurse's immediate attention. Ano ang isa sa mga goal mo? Kailangan meron kang scheduled. Commitment nga po ng mga pasyenteng diagnosed with personality disorder ang isa sa mga dapat mong i, ang, um, baga, i inculcate sa kanila. Okay? Yung hindi lang barabara any time of the day o kung kailan nila kailangan ng nurse, pwede na tawagin mo ganon. Well, ganun. You need to commit to something. You need to inculcate that to them. Next, establishing boundaries in relationships. The nurse must be quite clear about establishing the boundaries of the therapeutic relationship to ensure that neither the clients nor the nurse's boundaries are violated. Kailangan may boundaries dahil kung hindi, girl, baka naman maiwan ka, makarelate ka sa pasyente mo, dalawa na kayo, girl. Kung hindi ka maglalagay ng boundaries, maaaring hindi mo ma-accomplish yung goal mo na ma- na na tawag dito na matreat yung kanilang personality disorder or maaring ma-invade yung iyong uh, you as a nurse and you don't want that. That's why you need to establish boundaries onset of the treatment or the moment that you meet that client. Dapat meron ka nang set up clear boundaries to your patient and not just to your patient and also to yourself. All right. Next, teaching effective communication skills, which is very important. It is important to teach basic communication skills such as eye contact, active listening, taking turns talking, validating the meaning of others, of another's communication, and using I statement. I statement, okay? Malabas sa board exam, kalma kayo. Helping clients to cope and to control emotions. The nurse can help the clients to identify their feelings and learn to tolerate them without exaggerated responses such as destruction of property or self-harm. Keeping a journal often helps clients gain awareness of feelings. Journals one way. Okay. Next, reshaping thinking patterns. Naku, medyo mahirap ito. Cognitive restructuring is a technique useful in changing patterns of thinking by helping clients to recognize negative thoughts and feelings and to replace them with positive patterns of thinking. Thought stopping is a technique to alter the process of negative or self-critical thought patterns. Itong kaya mapapansin mo na karamihan kadalasan sa treatment ng mga personality disorder mo, long term to, slow progress is because you are talking about reshaping thinking patterns. Again, napaka, napaka powerful po ng mind natin. Diba may kasabihan nga, you become what you think. Your mind is so powerful. What we put in our mind becomes up because who becomes who we are as a person. So it takes time, it takes commitment, and it takes consistency for you as a nurse and for the patient whenever you're dealing with personality disorders. Next, structuring the client's daily activities. Structuring up and commitment is very important in you know treating your personality disorders. Minimizing unstructured time by planning activities can help clients to manage time alone. The Clients or clients can make a written schedule that includes appointments, shopping, reading the paper, and going for 
a walk. Yes, nurses, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know, boy, if you have other nursing topics that you want me to create. Uh, for you, put them down on the comment section below. Abangan nyo po yung mga next nating video about sa psychiatric nursing and mental uh, mental health and psychiatric nursing at yung mga iba pa nating video discussions sa about sa nursing. Nako, alam ko na nalalapit na yung board exam and this is really one way for you to review just po, uh, just to know, play my videos while you're uh, washing your dishes or something like that to prepare, okay? Good luck po sa mga test takers natin ngayon darating na May and huwag ka mag-alala kasi lal dadamihan natin yung ating nursing test banking magdadagdag pa rin tayo ng psych and other contents natin sa nursing but for the next couple of weeks I am really gonna focus I'm gonna commit on you know uploading a lot of board exam type of question that with rationalization that will that that can possibly come out on the upcoming PNLE natin. Once again, let me grab this opportunity to thank Laguna State Polytechnic University College of Nursing for inviting me to be their guest speaker sa pag-discuss ng personality disorder na to. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng studyante dyan. Mga studyante ni Sir um, J. Marugado at kay Sir J. Marugado na rin. Maraming salamat, Sir, for trusting me. At sa'yo rin na nanonood ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat. Pamalitan mo ng pinakabago, pinakafresh at ang pinakalibre ng Nursing Review Center sa balat ng YouTube. Thank you so much nurses for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You're already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. I also would like to grab this opportunity to invite you to join, follow, and like my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Mm -hmm. The link is on the description box. I'll see you guys next time.